I love free stuff, you love free stuff, everybody loves free stuff, and the best way to get free stuff is being a season seat holder. Now, we need to talk about what it means, what it's all about, so let's get started. What's up guys, welcome back. My name's Shraz here on Thumbs Up Run where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, make sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today we're talking all about season seat holder benefits, what are the cons, what's the cost, what's the great stuff, what's the downside, what's all the good things you need to know about being a season seat holder. We're talking about everything right now. And at the end, I got a little surprise for you in this box right here. Being a season seat holder, what does it even mean? Basically, it's saying, hey, I'm gonna commit to a certain length of package with a certain team, certain organization. I wanna make sure that I'm gonna lock myself in to make sure I get every single ticket that's part of that package. Sounds pretty awesome, doesn't it? So first off, guaranteed seats. There are different versions of being a season seat holder, whether it's you know a full season seat package, half season seat, quarter, buying you know ticket packs. Basically, you're committing to being able to get that same seat for a certain number of games or events. And essentially, this allows you to lock in that ability to you know attend all those different events. You don't have to worry about waiting in line, buying tickets, trying to compete with anybody else. It's all done in the background. It's all done up front. Everything is locked in, nothing to worry about, no hassle, no mess. It's nice and simple. I like simple, I like easy, I like things that work. And with those guaranteed seats, it also means that when the playoffs roll around, you get to guarantee your seats for that too. Don't have to deal with buying tickets at market prices when things skyrocket when your team makes it to the World Series or the Stanley Cup Finals. You get to go to those vets for the low, low face value cost, and it's gonna be awesome. Unlike some other people you may know who had to pay, you know, top dollar to attend those very, very exciting events. Also, with season seat holders, you get to lock in your season seat price. So what that means is you're paying a flat ticket rate per event, so you don't have to worry about market prices going up and down. It's all set up up front for you. You already know what you're paying. You already know what you're committing to, and it's all nice and easy. You get to you know pay the same price for every single event. So if it's a premium game, you're paying the same price. If it's a cheap game, you're still paying the same price, but overall, you're paying a lot less than everybody else. It can range from savings up little as 10%, but all the way up to 50% or even higher, depending on the team, event, game, that kind of thing. Also within the seating realm, you also get access to better seats overall. Basically when a team is going through a season seat drive, trying to sell some seats, they're trying to allocate the best seats available to their season seat holders. These are the people who are the most committed, the most loyal to that team. So we wanna make sure that they have the best experience possible. With that being said, they wanna make sure that they are given access to better options. Therefore, the seats that are assigned for season seat holders, the ones they have access to, they will generally be in the best parts of the building, available to them to buy so that they get first dibs on those amazing seats. Everything after that that isn't sold through season seat packages then go back to the box office for sale because they get to actually pick and choose where they're gonna sit rather than be subject to what is currently available on the open market. And then lastly, it's all the fringe benefits that really, you know, really make me love being a season seat holder. First off, it's all the free stuff. The bobbleheads, the gifts, the merchandise, the food and beverage credits. All those things, I just love all of it. You know, with baseball specifically, every year I get my favorite email of the year every single March. And it says, hey, you get a full free subscription to MLB TV. I mean, it is just amazing. It's all baseball, all the time, forever, free. Other fringe benefits, loyalty discounts and loyalty benefits. So with the auto sellers, after five years, you get yourself some free parking, which is, you know, pretty good deal. That's equivalent to paying, you know, $20 per game, 40 games a year, almost $800 of value, just, just throwing money at you. They just say, hey, here, have some free stuff. Depending on which teams you support and how long you've been there, these loyalty discounts can range from, you know, free fan experiences, price discounts, grandfathered pricing, tokens of appreciation. It really depends, so every team is a bit different. But a lot of times, as you stay with a team long enough, there will be something that will come down the road saying, hey, thank you for your commitment to our team. Here is a token of our appreciation. Always a nice touch. Another one is fan experiences. So whether it's you know getting to go to a fan fest and getting to meet some of the players, some current players, alumni, rookies, getting autographs, getting free food, getting to watch scrimmages and practices during the middle of the season, getting to go see fireworks from the field, all these really cool experiences, all reserved for just those special season seat holders. Even some simple things as getting your name put up in the wall, getting your name on a season seat holder list somewhere in the venue, all these little touches, they all make you feel a bit more connected to that team, a bit more special, because you 
you're a special person by being a season seat holder. Other benefits include little discounts on food and beverage, sometimes merchandising discounts as well. Other times you might even get some merchandising credit, which is always fun to buy some more free stuff. The last thing there is you have a dedicated account manager who can answer any of the questions you have. If you have any special requests you'd like to do, they can kind of work with you, make it possible to do these different things, whether it's, you know, getting your name on the scoreboard or, you know, trying to get a special intimate experience or just, you know, anything, anything where you have a few questions, you got someone you can reach out to and they can you know make sure those things get done lastly on the ticket side there is the ability to go ahead trade tickets for different events if you can't attend them if you want to bring extra people to games maybe get a discount on buying additional seats and then also the direct integration with being able to sell your seats from your account so whether that's a direct integration with StubHub or Vivid Seats or SeatGeek or whoever the case may be all these different teams Many teams at this point, they all have direct integration, so it makes that a very seamless experience. Basically, being a seasoned seat holder is like saying, hey, I'm gonna commit to you, but then they're gonna commit back to me with tons and tons of awesome free stuff, experiences, benefits. If they just, they just dump them on you, and it's so good, but it's not all good, because there is a cost to this. I can't, I can't, I can't come here and say to you, no, being a seasoned seat holder is all the best thing in the world, because you still gotta, they still need a bit of money. One of the literal costs of being a season seat holder is that it costs you money. You are committing to basically an entire season. That means you have to pay for every single event. In baseball, that means 81 games, not just the weekends though, right? We're getting all the weekday games, you're getting the teams that nobody's really too excited about. And then there's just, you know, sometimes you're just not feeling it. You don't wanna go. And then what do you do? You got this ticket and you, you can't use it anymore. You try and give it away to someone. They don't want it. You try and give it to somebody else. They say, what is this? I don't even like this team. And you're like, what? What is this? And then you realize, okay, fine. Then this ticket is wasted. And then, you know, yes, your per ticket cost is still cheaper than, you know, buying tickets from the box office. But at the same time, if you only use half the seats, your per ticket cost, you know, for the events you actually go to, uh, it, it basically goes up quite a bit, potentially, depending on how many games you go to. Yes, you can go ahead, sell some of your seats, try and get rid of them, try, give them to friends and family, make everybody feel nice and special. But at the same time, you are committed to attending all these events and paying for all these different events. So it can add up. And as a result, there is generally, you know, a, quite a bit of money that is required. And that money is generally required up front. Some teams, they will offer you payment plans to go ahead and make payments, whether it's monthly or twice a year or whatever the case may be, but it is still quite a bit of chunk of change that you have to commit to the team to get all these benefits. Another thing is that if you are committing to a team and it's, you know, the team's not doing so hot, even if you don't want to go to those events anymore and you want to sell them, sometimes those seats, they're just not worth much at all. Like it's, it's tough and it can be very difficult during those lean years trying to sell some seats uh, to events that nobody really wants to attend. It can be a bit, a bit depressing at times if you, you know, you commit to the team, you're all excited, you think they're gonna make the playoffs this year, only to realize that, um, they're gonna be last place and it's it's no fun. Now, with all that being said, I think there's definitely a lot of value being given to you, especially one, you know, being able to attend those rivalry matchups, pre-sale access to additional tickets, being able to go see the, 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 big, the big events that you really wanna go see, all those things, they're really main draws there. But again, you do pay for that convenience as well. Yes, you also do get to attend these other events that you've now committed to, and maybe, you know, they might surprise you, might even enjoy them a little bit, but, you just gotta remember that if you're committing to being a season seat holder, you're committing to being a season seat holder. All that being said, I am an avid, avid season seat holder from several teams. I love it. They give me great benefits. I find it totally worth it. And now we're gonna talk about one of my favorite benefits, free stuff. Let's open the box. My Pittsburgh Pirates, they just sent me a package. I am currently very excited to open this up if I can figure out exactly how to do so. Looks like it's over here. All right, I'll open it for you guys first, so I don't even get to see what it is. What do you guys see? Anything good? I see, ooh, all right. All right, so first off, we got ourselves, ooh, baseball hats. Two of them. Baseball hats, always can use more of those. We got ourselves, ooh, Pittsburgh Pirates towels. Ooh, I like it. Thermos, because Always need water. Some more stuff. Ooh, new masks. Always good in this time of year and all other parts of the year, to be honest. Lastly, we got ourselves two t-shirts. These look a So, 
I will say one thing I am quite not a fan of is whenever they give, you know, free fan t-shirts, they're always extra large. Like this is, yeah, extra large. You can see that there, look at that, extra large. I never understood it, but I mean, it's still awesome. It's still free. It's still a t-shirt. I love it all. That is that. Then it's just confetti and a nice thank you card. Dear fans, blah, 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 blah. See you at the park. Awesome. That's what it's about being a season seat holder. You're getting all the free stuff. I love the free stuff. That's that's really the biggest draw for me. Getting all the merchandise, getting all the things you can throw up on the wall, wear it, use it, eat it, drink it, whatever the case may be. Just being able to show your support and your love for the teams and being a fan. It's really what drives me to being a season seat holder. Let me know in the comments below what makes you want to become a season seat holder. What doesn't make you want to become a season seat holder. What you think about it at all. Let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to take a look and see what you guys are thinking. That's all I got for today though. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because lots of great content coming up all the time on this channel. And see you guys next time.